Why is it that it's those who the narcissist claims to love the most who they most hurt? Well, for the narcissist, there's not that much fun in hurting people who they don't really care about. Thanks for watching. No, I'm just kidding. Um, no, the thing is, if the narcissist is very close to somebody, if there's somebody who trusts them, somebody who is an important part of their life, you know, a lot of times, especially at the beginning when the narcissist gets to know this person, they they do look upon that person highly. They They do tend to appreciate the person's qualities. And if it's in a romantic setting, you know, they are euphoric about how this person just makes them feel over the moon and, and all that good stuff, right? Um, the qualities, the qualities of the other person, the fact that the narcissist can, can connect with you in their way, they really admire people's qualities, if people have qualities which they lack in themselves. And a lot of times, it is those qualities which draws the narcissist towards these other people. But with narcissists, <clears throat> it's those things that which they most like about you today, which tend to be the things which they least like about you tomorrow. And a lot of times, it's not because the traits themselves are irritating towards them. It's more along the lines of narcissists, they like to associate with your qualities. And then they soon want to possess your qualities. And then they try to possess your qualities. But when they realize that they cannot actually possess your qualities, because they don't have it in them to be a charismatic, caring, helpful, trustworthy, reliable person, they start getting very angry. They start getting very envious that you have something which they don't and which they don't really know how to possess. They can't stand that people like you, that people look upon you favorably. They don't like that people respect you. They don't like how you can like yourself, that you can love yourself. You see, all these qualities, you know, being able to love, likability, you know, people like you, having this good network, peer group of people, having that positive social impact. Just at the beginning, these things to them seems attractive. And it's something that they have to fake really hard to pretend they possess, but they don't really possess. But if they're with you who actually has these traits, then they temporarily feel good about themselves. But it's when they start becoming envious of you. It's when the discomfort of the envy, because they cannot change who they are, they cannot change their outlook, they cannot kill their inner feelings of shame, that they have no other choice but to try to make you feel shameful, to try to extract or rather kill your qualities and turn you into a, a shell of your former self. Because then they get relief from that envious feeling that just eats them up inside. The people who the narcissist loves the most are the people who, they see those people's qualities. They see what those people have to offer. If you had nothing, absolutely nothing to offer yourself, the narcissist, the world, if you were like a clueless person who just really didn't have anything to offer, the narcissist, is, the narcissist wouldn't think much of you. You wouldn't really be on their radar. It's when, you know, even if it's a family member, even if you're a child, sibling, whatever, if you don't really have something, then they quickly bore of you. But it's when you have something that they allow themselves to get a bit closer. And they, they soon realize, though, that what they really want, which is to kind of, you know, have your qualities in them, which they don't know how to make that happen. Because faking can only take things but so far. At some point, if you have nothing, if you have nothing to show for it, 
the reality is going to surface and yet you're going to be forced to see things for how they really are. And that's where the narcissist tends to just get envious, get angry, get competitive. And because they can't one up you through their own qualities, they try to destroy you. And when they destroy you, they feel like they have more. They feel better about themselves. They feel like the world's in a better place. They've managed to put you in your place. They've managed to uplift themselves by putting you down. And they don't really think it through. It's not really, it's just so instinctive that they, they can concoct what seems to be the most elaborate of plans, which for them is just pure instinct. You know, for them, it was just like the most logical next step without much planning. But most people are like, you know, they're very calculating. Look what they did. It's like, yeah, but for them, it's not. A, they don't even feel like they're being very calculating. For them, it's second nature. So while it can be, you know, the, the thought, which is the fact that they want to destroy you is because you have something that they want. They're envious of you. While the thought of that can be flattering, actually being on the receiving end of that can be devastating. And that's why it's important for you to understand who you're dealing with. Because if you know who you're dealing with, then you don't really have to internalize or absorb their nonsense. You don't really have to take them seriously. You don't have to have any expectations. Expectations is a big word. The moment you don't really have expectations of someone, or at least not good expectations of them, that alone makes it very difficult for that person to have their way with you because you're not allowing yourself to create any emotional bonds, any other types of bonds either, because you're you're kind of like dealing with that person always with, with one foot out the door. You know, if, if they act up, you pounce. If they act up, you ignore. So if they are, if you are with a narcissist or dealing with a narcissist, you can feel their envy starting to boil to the surface. Just be as neutral towards them as possible. You don't have to play any games. Just know what to expect from them. That they try to find ways to make you feel bad about yourself. And oftentimes they'll try to manage other people's perceptions of you in a negative way. Maybe smearing you. But as long as you... Keep your cool as long as you focus on yourself, do your thing, and don't really make them a topic of your conversations. Then people quickly see through the narcissist because all of the narcissists is very manipulating, cunning, and they like to control people's perceptions of themselves and other people and you. Most people were not born yesterday. And narcissists, if there's one thing they tend to do is when you ignore them and you don't feed them, you don't give them the positive or negative reactions that they want. Then very soon, people start to see through what they're doing and they dig their own grave. And when they do dig their own grave, you're not going to be there to help them out of it. If they want to make their, if they want to mess up their bed, let them sleep in it. Not your problem. Thanks for watching.